vehicle wraps, building wraps, wall wraps, everything has, has become very popular with utilizing graphics now. Um, they've got a wide variety of really cool and very strong materials that are used for, um, for wrapping things or putting decals or putting graphics on any type of uh, item now, whether it be a vehicle, a building, a sign. So you've all seen it. You've seen vehicles driving around town that are wrapped with, with vehicle wrap. Um, race cars use it now. Um, buildings, you'll see the inside of store walls that are completely covered with what is basically three or four big graphics that are applied to the wall. Now we're affording you the, uh, the opportunity to put graphics on your cases, whether they're stock graphics that we provide or graphics that you upload to us and we print them on this wrap material and you can apply it to your case. So it could be something as simple as basic lettering, like let's say you have a series of cases and you want to number them for placement on a truck or to know what's in it, you can use this stuff. Um, if you want to put custom logos on your cases, you can use this stuff. If you want to put full graphics wrapping the entire case, you can do that as well. Um, this stuff is real high impact. Now that's not to say that it's not going to get nicked and dinged up just like anything else on a case. Even when you have cases silk screened um, with paint, you know, they're going to take a beating and eventually they're going to start to look, you know, deteriorated, you know, um, and that's when they'll remove that and, and re reapply the, uh, the silk screen. So you can do the same thing with the graphics. Um, if you're moving stuff around by yourself, Chances are it's not going to get very damaged very much. Um, if it's getting, you know, shipped around worldwide on a truck, constantly getting moved, it's going to get dinged up, but you can always reapply the graphics. Um, so it's not a problem. And you have to remember, I mean, these things, these graphics that we, we sell to you, they go on vehicles. They use them on motocross um, bikes. They use them on off-road racing cars. Uh, it's it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty strong and we have different levels you know so some are just basic graphics that you know if you put them under those types of conditions they'd probably get damaged more but then we also have you know for a little bit more of a, of a cost we have the real high impact stuff that you can put on your cases so what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little demonstration now of how easy it is to apply these graphics that you get through us to your cases. So it's a little bit of a uh, instructional um, demo on how to apply the graphics to the case yourself. So you can see how easy it is and then you can take advantage of uh, decorating your cases however you want them. The first thing you'll want to do is clean the surface where you're going to apply the lettering or the graphics. Uh, basic window cleaner works great a lint-free, grease-free rag and wipe it down really good and allow that to dry. For this example, we're just going to put some lettering on this side of the case that would represent a logo. You could use anything. This could be information that needs to be on the case. It could be a picture graphic, a name of a band, name of a business. Uh, this is just an example that we're going to use. So we pull off the first backing that reveals the adhesive for the lettering and this secondary backing that is covering the lettering. Now the adhesive on the lettering is much stronger than the secondary backing. Take your lint-free rag, rub it down real good and make sure that everything is in place. And it'd be best to let it sit for a while. Also take some type of a rounded smooth surface, I use the end of a screwdriver, and trace around the letters all around their edges to make sure that they adhere very well to the ABS. Now normally you would let this sit. Now you'll pull up a little bit of a corner and you'll go slow uh, as you're peeling it off. The last thing you want to do is take that and just actually yank it off because that could cause your lettering to come up with it. So go slow. If you do see any of the edges of your lettering, lettering starting to come up uh, as you're doing this, just press it down with your finger and just go nice and slow all the way along until you've pulled off all of the secondary backing. Now take your uh, glass cleaner a little bit again, spray it over top and with your same lint-free rag. Wipe gently, but you want to get up any adhesive that might be left behind from the secondary backing. This one that we're going to do now is two lines of, uh, of graphics and lettering. So basically we're just going to show you on another panel on the case uh, a little bit of a different font 
and two rows of lettering. It could be anything that you want, whatever graphics you have. Now you see as this little corner starts to lift up, all you need to do is just smooth that back down with your finger. And this may happen occasionally on corners, uh, especially if there's a small portion of graphics, like a real thin piece of the material in whatever graphic that you're using. But all you have to do is just smooth it back down. And once again, pull off this secondary backing nice and slow. As you can see, I'm using a little piece of a sponge. And sometimes there'll be a little piece when the cutting process happens for the lettering. You'll have a little strip there, just pull that off. If there's any secondary graphic that's still stuck to your case that's not part of your lettering. And there you have it. Now with this example, we're going to do more of a wrap scenario. So as you can see with this graphic, it's going to uh, cover the entire panel, but don't forget that your edges will be trimmed with the extrusion. Once again, clean the panel with your window cleaner and a lint-free cloth and allow that to dry. Now get your graphic in place where you want it and then take a little piece of tape and put it partially on the graphic and partially on the case wall on both sides about the halfway point. This will hold it in place and keep it straight as you begin your process. You don't want it to move. Now start by tearing back the one corner at either end of your graphic and start to slowly pull it away from the backing. Now this is very pliable material. It's very easy to work with. Now take a knife and cut off that backing on that initial area that you've pulled back. It could be about three to five inches of material. Then simply roll it down to the edge, smooth it into place, and take your little sponge and just kind of rub over the area. If there's any little air bubbles in there, you can work it out. This material also has tiny, tiny little holes that can't be seen to the eye. It's, it's kind of porous, so you can work out the air bubbles. Now you can remove your tape because you've got your graphic completely lined up nice and straight and adhered to the case wall. Simply lift it up and start to peel away the backing from your graphic. Just a little bit at a time and then start to lay down the graphic onto your case wall and smooth it out with your sponge. Not a wet sponge, by the way, it's just a dry sponge. Could be a dry erase uh, eraser for a dry erase marker board, anything like that that's soft. And just a little bit at a time, pull off your backing and work your graphic onto the ABS or whatever case wall material you're using, working out any air bubbles or creases. Now, like I said, this stuff is very durable and very pliable. So as you pull off the backing all together, if you start to see some areas, let's say where there's like a little crease or a bubble, you can lift it up again and again and work it back into place. This is not gonna cure for a while, so you know, you've got lots of time to work with it and try to get it all smoothed out and any air bubbles worked out. Again, if you see another little area, let's say like on this corner, there's a little air bubble, let's say, you can lift up the corner again, get to the air bubble or the crease, work it out. This is a little bit stretchy and pliable, the material. Then just kind of stretch it back into place and work it down with your sponge. Smoothing out all over the area completely after you're done and you've got all your air bubbles or creases worked out and then you've got it in place. And now you can see if your extrusion was surrounding that, you'd have an entire panel covered with your graphic wrap.